It's motion activated. <laughs> Very nice. Santa stuck in the tree. And there's no rest of the body. <laughs> Clever hiding, by the way, with that. Thank you. Very smart. Thank you, Dental Perkins. It's like a camel. Oh, hey guys. No cheesy intro this week. Guys, it's already 7.22. How you doing? My name is David Franco and welcome to the weekend of Lockerty Vlog. I'm just in a mood, you know? I just feel like I'm in a slump. Like, I don't know, I'm okay. I just don't feel like vlogging this weekend. I mean, if I had to be perfectly honest, I'm all about the pins only vlogs. We can vlog, I don't know. Weekends for me are kind of like my chance to just disconnect in a way. Of course, in addition to all the streaming I'm going to be doing this weekend. Um, but it's going to be fun. Like, the Black Ops Cold War final release is a blast. Literally. Because, you know, gun, fire, and grenades. And seriously, it's fun. And speaking of fun, got a new water bottle. You guys like it? Isn't it great? Look at that. Look at it. Now, at first, I thought I was drinking it wrong. I'm, I'm, I, I guess I was drinking it wrong. Listen. It's like there's a little penguin in here trying to escape. There's no little penguin. It just turns out you just drink it like this. See that? I'm just trying to drink more water. And look at this. It's a lot of water. I forget the liter, like ounce size or whatever. It's definitely not a liter. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Why the f am I talking about a water bottle? This is how exciting my weekend's gonna be, guys. This is why I don't feel like vlogging this weekend. Absolutely nothing. I repeat, nothing is going on. I just backed out of dinner plans with the family. They were gonna order Red Lobster, which I was actually quite excited about. But they were playing Christmas music and it just put me in a mood where I'm like, I don't want to hear the music yet because then it spoils the Christmas music when Thanksgiving is actually here. And Thanksgiving's here in less than a week. I mean, sorry, less than two weeks. And I'm extremely traditional. Like, I, I can't listen to Christmas music until Thanksgiving. Otherwise, it just puts me in a mood, you know? Like, I, I love Christmas music, but I can't listen to it until when it's actually time. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe, I don't know. I, I, I like doing things the exactly right way, you know? So, here I am at Target, by the way. I don't think I've even, even told you. I'm at Target. Then I guess I'm going to Sheets for dinner. That's pretty much my Friday night. And tomorrow night, I might do the same exact thing. So, yeah. Don't expect a very exciting vlog. I'll say it again. My Pigeons Only vlogs are far, far more exciting than my weekend vlogs, at least from my perspective, because my weekdays are so much more eventful, let's just say that. For instance, I legit get sad when Friday comes around and the stock market closes at four o'clock, because then I'm like, oh, I cannot wait until Monday. I literally cannot wait until Monday, but it is what it is. I'll just enjoy what I have, you know. All right, I'm going in the Target. Probably just to buy milk. Then I'm going to Sheets. Probably to get tacos and mac and cheese bites or something. Then I'm going home to watch The Haunting of Bly Manor and play Black Ops Cold War and probably Apex. And that's my Friday night. Thrilling, I know. By the way, I'm not trying to put off a negative vibe because I'm not. I'm just being real with you guys. This is going to be a very boring vlog. But hey, if you stick around, thank you. Type the word pancakes if you watch the entire thing. I appreciate it. I do. And just like that, I'm at Sheets. Do I sound muffled? It's because I was. Also, I was thinking, do you think Friday the 13th is affecting my mood? I don't know. I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. Who knows, guys? Who knows? All right. Huge success at Sheets. I got potato skins for the first time in a very, very long time. And I got the Grande 
tacos, which means it comes with everything. It think, then think like Supreme from Taco Bell, like so, um, sour cream and all that stuff. But you also get jalapenos, which is really, really cool. And for the first time ever, never even knew this was a thing at Sheets. Sheets iced coffee in a can, right? Not only that, but they have like four or five different flavors. I got cookies and cream. Never tried cookies and cream coffee. I don't know how I feel about that in theory, but it could be really good. But this one, I'm definitely quite excited about. Vanilla. Look at that, baby. Look at that. That sounds like it could be good. So I'm excited. I will try the vanilla tonight and probably have cookies and cream tomorrow. As much as I love coffee, sometimes you don't want to overdo it on the caffeine intake. All right, let's go home and eat. I am so hungry. Sheets definitely helps my mood. Is that weird? I just, I just love you, Sheets, you know? And I'm home. And shout out to everyone on Instagram. I've been uploading Instagram stories a lot more often. I just think they're fun. And I uploaded this at Sheets, and look how many people already watched it. You guys are crazy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And please, follow me on Instagram. Instagram.com slash... David Frank, I'm trying not to drop my phone. And there's a preview of my pictures. You can even see things like this. Steve with really, really short legs. It's quality content. All right, guys, speaking of quality. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What's going on here? Oh my God, I haven't had these in a while. Now, keep in mind, I tend to treat my potato skins at sheets like tacos. So they kind of all toppled. But man, they are good eating. I love them. And speaking of tacos, I got actual tacos. Which are pretty good. They're not bad if you're craving, you know, tacos. There you go, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm going to enjoy. I did not eat much today. So this is going to be very welcome to my stomach. You ready, buddy? You ready? I'm ready, David. See, he's ready, guys. Many hours later. Good times tonight, guys, good times. Hey, Google, what time is it? 5.58. 5.58 in the morning, y'all. Z, you going outside? Hold on, let me get some more light in here so my viewers can get a, you can get a little proper white balance going, you know? 2020 and still some cameras can't keep up. It is what it is. Hi, yo guy. Go ahead. You go outside. Good boy. Be careful though, okay? Sun's coming up. You can see it. Very nice. Here, Z. Yes, he stays inside pretty much all night as I stream. Cause he's a good key. Good boy. Stay safe. And please watch that head of yours. His, his cut is healing. All right, um, I think they're coming by, the, the people who do the food drive. I think, I think they're coming by like around 8.30 in the morning or sometime around then. So here you go. Ow. Enjoy. Excellent stream tonight, guys. Thank you so much for your continued support. Once again, you guys, wait, did I hit the sub goal? I don't know, but either way, thank you so much for your support. Really, really appreciate it. Started out with some Cold War, which is a lot of fun, ton of fun. Uh, then we played some Apex, that was terrible. Just terrible, horrible, horrible, horrible. We just got bad drops. It's okay, it happens. That's the, that's the BR way, you know? Um, and then some Among Us. Yeah, it was Silver and Logan. It was, it was a while since I played with them. So it was nice to catch up and just chill, you know? So good times. Thank you guys so much for the games. And tonight we're gonna do, I think, Cold War, Warzone. And then if, uh, you know, time permitting, we'll do some more Among Us. Hey guys, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling much better. I was just in a slump before, you know? I don't know, do you ever have days like that where you're just tired, you're un unmotivated and whatever? And I don't know, maybe I get a little grinded out with the, um, not grinding out, just a weird word. Um, burnt out a little bit with vlogging. I mean, I, I, I love vlogging during the week, but by the time the weekend's here, I'm like, I kinda just wanna not talk on camera. But after a while, I'm like, you know what? Everything's fine, everything's fine. I was just having a moment. 
it's all good. So thank you guys so much for your, for your patience. I appreciate it. And if you watch these vlogs for the family, don't worry, you'll see them on Sunday. Uh, but later today, Saturday, I might just do sheets again, you know? I might just do sheets again. And by the way, those tacos were good. Potato skins were good. Zero's just staring at me. I don't know if you can see him. I, I need sleep. I'll see you guys later today. Good times tonight. Happy Saturday, everybody. Look at this lighting. I feel very well rested today. Got like eight hours of sleep. It is 2.51 p.m. I was watching The Social Network in bed. Never seen that movie before. Just kidding, I've seen it like 12 times. Maybe more, I don't know. It's an excellent background movie. I am here to unbox some coffee. My knife's over here. You know, I've lived in this house for two years as of actually this month. I gotta find that date so we, we, we can all celebrate together. Anyway, I was saying, lived here for about two years and sometimes I still forget where I put things. Oh, baby. Okay, I, I, I can't really smell it that much because it's vacuum sealed, but oh my God. I love you, you know that? I love you so much. You don't have to say it back, baby. You don't gotta say it back, because I know you love me back. I know it. What does my life come to? I'm talking to coffee. Come here, guys. I was thinking last night, like, sometimes I'm too hard on myself. Like, I had someone in my chat say that he lost his job due to COVID, and he still continues to enjoy my vlogs. That's kind of an escape, if you will. And you know what? Sometimes I just beat myself up too much over it. Like, I just feel like sometimes you guys expect like the most exciting weekend vlogs, hanging out with the family, constant jokes after jokes. But at the end of the day, I am just a normal person. You know, sometimes I do have boring weekends like this. I don't do anything. There's nothing going on this weekend. But I can't let that stop me from vlogging for you guys. I mean, it, it, even if it's stupid things like that, opening coffee, I think people use stupid vlogs like this one as an escape, do you not? So yeah, I mean, I just had to stop being so hard on myself. David, relax. People watch these vlogs for you, for your family, for just the enjoyment, for the real factor. Um, not not real factor. Realistic factor? I don't know. Basically, I'm just a real dude, enjoying my real weekend, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. But with that said, I am about to make some coffee and go upstairs and play Cold War. So don't expect too much today. But, I think I am going to go out to Wawa tonight and get a turkey bowl. So I'm purposely not going to eat anything today except for that turkey bowl because it's loaded with calories. And I want to keep this somewhat slim face going, you know? Yes, I could lose more. This chin right here, it bothers me when I see it. But I'll get there. I will. You'll see. So let's make some coffee. Let's make it a boring, non-productive, but enjoyable day. Oh, baby, you scared me there. This Keurig has seen better days, but you know what? It's gone through like maybe what, three houses now? It's pretty crazy. I am obsessed with setup photos on Instagram. I see so many of these, like every single day. Watch, I'll scroll down. This should be another one. There you go, another one. Look how clean that is. And do you notice a trend with them? Most of them have white desks. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to that. Let me keep going. Come on, baby, come on. There's another desk. Anyway, you guys get the point. I'm obsessed with desks, so. Expect some major, major changes in this room. All of this is gonna go back here. I am going to get a new desk over here, probably the Autonomous Smart Desk 2 or Smart Desk 3. For some reason, 3 is not on their website, but 4 is coming soon. I don't need 4, it's got gimmicky features in my opinion. 
Smart Desk 2 seems seems to be the way to go. So I'm gonna get the ultra wide version. I think it's like 70 inches wide, which is a little more wide than three displays, and that's what I need. The displays are gonna go on their own desk. The PCs are gonna go on their own table. I mean, they're sharing a table, but stacked. It's, and it's gonna be really nice. Um, I'm not typically a white desk guy when it comes to gaming setups, except for my last house, which I thought actually looked pretty good. But my plan is to get the white tabletop, right? <clears throat> Maybe black legs or light gray legs, but get a very large black desk mat so I have the contrast of black to white. And it's gonna look nice. It's just gonna look beautiful. Um, but of course, it's gonna take some time to get there because, well, I have to buy everything and it's not gonna be cheap. However, I have everything figured out except for one. And I talked about this in the Patrons vlog, so Patrons, I apologize, you're gonna hear this again because I need as much help as I can. I need a table that goes in the corner, one that can hold both PCs, the PC on top and the streaming PC on bottom, but the table must go in the corner and the PCs must be able to face me at a 45 degree angle. So basically picture a corner table, gaming PC, tabletop, streaming PC. I want both PCs facing me. That way I can see them clearly and the light will pass underneath my new desk, thus lighting up my room even more. Maui, what are you doing, dude? So yeah, if you guys see anything, let me know. Hi! You having fun? And this Mac Pro setup is definitely temporary. There's a very, very good chance, yes, there is a Mac Pro there. It's hiding behind the uh, monitor, which I love. There's a very good chance this is going to go in here. So my Mac Pro will be in the background with that nice, large 42, 43 inch 4K display, thus displaying something in the background for my viewers to see. It's going to be a very well thought out display, I mean, uh, setup, and it's just, yeah. You'll say, you'll say. I love talking about it, but what I love even more is actually doing it. I'm not a sayer, I'm a doer. And I will be getting a new fridge, a fridge with a transparent door, you know, like a window, with LEDs on the, on the um, inside. So that's just another thing viewers can see in the background. But I gotta pace myself. Christmas is right around the corner, guys. Like, Christmas is so, so close. Again, it, it stresses me out a little bit, but I do want to come through for my family and my friends. I, I, I know it's not about like proving your love or whatever, but I'm very fortunate to be where I am, especially with COVID happening, and I like to give back when possible. So Christmas is my chance to give back, so stay tuned. But yeah, so between all my setup changes and Thanksgiving coming up and Christmas coming up, I promise my content is going to get a nice little boost in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. You just got to be a little, little patient. stretching great. Guys, it's 7.06 and I have Chinese food two minutes away. Alright, so the thing is... Oh, I'll leave the lights on. The thing is, I love DoorDash. I'm a very passionate DoorDash customer. I've given them hundreds of dollars in the past year or so. And, uh... Yeah. I'm extremely happy with them. But the thing is... They don't have as many choices as Grubhub and Uber Eats do. Hey, little guy. You're fine. That possum is so cute. Anyway, um, because Grubhub have a wider radius, meaning they go into the city, they go beyond the city a little bit. So basically, they give me more choices. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And Uber Eats has the whole Uber Pass thing, just like DoorDash has Dash Pass. Both, I believe, are $10 a month. And DoorDash doesn't have this Chinese restaurant that I've been wanting to try, but Uber Eats does. And I'm gonna try it. They're literally down the street. So, the point of this whole stupid blurb is I might temporarily cancel Dash Pass and just use Uber Eats for like two months just to see how they perform. Also, I like that you can tip afterwards. I mean, obviously I always tip beforehand, but like if they drive a certain distance, 
for instance, they definitely drove far for me. I might tip them a little extra money because she's literally driving 10 miles this way just to give me my Chinese food. And that's insane. That is dedication. I love that. I love that so much. So yeah, I mean, I might temporarily switch to Uber Eats. So with that said, if you guys want free Uber Eats credits, check my link right below. And who knows, maybe I'll start using them more than DoorDash. And again, I have nothing against DoorDash. I have nothing against Grubhub. They're pretty much all the same. It just comes down to who does what. And Uber Eats seems to have the most access to all these restaurants. And they're pulling up right now. I can hear them. Also, I got chicken and broccoli with hot and spicy soup, hot and sour soup, something like that, which I've never tried before. So it should be cool. Also, I love how it shows me what car they're using. Um, and it updates in real time, which I've known about because I used to use Uber Eats when I went to TwitchCon in San Jose. Loved it. That was my first time using one of these services. But the thing is, DoorDash doesn't update the location of their Dasher as often as Uber Eats does, which I think is... And look, it's even showing me that they're turning around or they're in my driveway or something. Like, that is so cool. All right, I'll let you know how the food is. Stay tuned. All right, let's see what we have here. I ordered from a place called Woo's Garden. First of all, presentation's good. Food inside of, of a paper bag and a plastic bag. Uber David, love it. I've never tried this place before, so I'm so excited. I don't know if this is gonna be my type of soup. This, this already looks like it's not gonna be my, my type of soup. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm trying to open it with one hand. Come on, baby, come on. God, it is hot though, holy crap. It is very hot. Yeah, I, I might just take that stuff out and just have the broth or whatever it's called. You know what it's like trying to vlog with one hand? There you go. Yeah, maybe not for me, but I figured why not try it. The real treat is this. Got some white rice and, ooh, look at this presentation. Very nice, Woo's Garden, I'm impressed. And the chicken and broccoli, which still feels plenty hot. Oh, baby, baby, baby. And I did put extra sauce in my uh, special instructions, which it looks like there is. It's very soupy. Oh, I'm hyped, guys. I love this stuff so much. Sign up. Thank you. Oh, my God. I am so full. Thankfully, that's my only meal today. Yo, let's let's talk for a second about Chinese food. Hold on, I hate this part of the floor. Let's let's put you guys over here, right? There you go, much better. First of all, shout out to my friend David Bather. You probably don't recall saying this, but when you visited us in Jersey years ago, I will never forget when we ordered from that place called green tea it's kind of a more finer chinese slash japanese type restaurant with sushi and chinese food all that stuff so it's not like your typical takeout chinese right so you you'd expect like amazing chinese and yeah they're, they're chinese in my opinion it was, it was it was it was decent it was decent um i'm more of the rinky dinky chinese takeout place you know the small places that in my experience seem to make better food anyway getting to point I will never forget when I was not impressed with my food and David said out loud, David, all Chinese is the same. Oh, that hurt me. It still hurts, man. David, this isn't me calling you out. This is just me telling everybody not all Chinese takeout is the same. Now, they do make a joke. They do make a joke in the office saying that Florida has some of the worst Chinese takeout available. I don't know if that's a fact. It might just be Joe being Joe. I love her character. She's from Florida um, and she would always say things. And one of those things was that Chinese wasn't that great in Florida. So maybe it's not so great down there. But over here, I think we have some really good Chinese restaurants and shout out to Wu's Garden. This is the point of this clip. You guys <laughs> make some of the best Chinese I've ever had in my life. I'm 34 years old. I've had a ton of Chinese food at a, from a ton of different places, you know? But Wu's Garden, wow. Your chicken was incredibly tender. Your white rice was amazing. It's really hard to mess up white rice. The broccoli was amazing. 
But what impressed me the most was your sauce. Like sauce for me makes a chicken and broccoli meal. As it should, because sauce can greatly vary. Like pizza especially, especially on pizza. Like if, if, you, if your sauce sucks, then your pizza's not gonna be good. And it's the same with Chinese food. And I know I'm not some food reviewer, but when I find some food I truly like, I just gotta give them a shout out. So Wu's Garden, simply incredible. Just incredible. Even the hot and spicy soup was really good. I took out some of the tofu and mushrooms and stuff. It's probably not my jam, <laughs> but uh, the, the broth or whatever in general was incredible. It was so hot and spicy that you could feel it going down your esophagus and into your stomach, which probably sounds bad, but for me, it's kind of a soothing, like, hot effect. It's like when the really scorching hot water of a shower hits your skin. I think that's a good analogy. Anyway, um, I like that food so much, I just canceled my Dash Pass subscription. And I'm going to stick with Uber Eats, like I said, for like two months just to see how it goes. So, oh, and also I did increase my tip for my driver uh, because she drove quite the distance. So, cool. Hey, I like to be fair. Yeah, it's not every day a vlogger reviews Chinese food, but that was damn good. Damn, damn good. And they gave me a ton of broccoli. This thing was full, guys. Remember, it had so much broccoli and chicken in it. I didn't eat all the rice, because the rice is just so filling, and I don't need all that, honestly. And I ate most of the soup. This is really good. So yeah, Wu's Garden, keep it up, guys. I will be back. It's just a shame it's far, but at least Uber Eats uh, supports it. Also, unlike DoorDash, and this isn't me dissing DoorDash, love DoorDash, but if you want my honest opinion real quick, my least favorite out of DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, easily Grubhub. Grubhub, in my experience, just seems more pricey for whatever reason, and their customer support isn't as good as DoorDash's um, is. Maybe Uber Eats is, is great as well. Anyway, Uber Eats does have a reward system, which is really cool. So the more you order and the more you eat, you, you can use those points towards things like free Apple Music subs and all that stuff. That's so cool. Like, that's really, really cool. Speaking of Apple Music, I might turn on my subscription again using the Apple One service. I think I can get Apple Music plus storage plus a bunch of other things for like $15 a month. And I currently pay $10 a month for Spotify, which I will keep because I use it a lot upstairs. But I definitely want to start using my HomePods more and stuff like that. So anyway, wow, I am all over the place. Just Uber Eats, I'm impressed. Woo's Garden, I'm impressed. You guys got me. You got me good. Hey Google, what time is it? 5.47 Alexa, what time yeah. is it? It's 5.48 a.m. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 5.48 Alright, good. It, it just changed. I swear. Guys, good times tonight. I am so tired. Look at me. This is the face of a gamer. But it's the face of a gamer who had a great time with friends. A lot of friends on it, actually. Discord be popping, yo. Like a bag of popcorn. Seriously, though, shout out to everyone. Like, we, we had a full party tonight in Cold War. It was just legit fun. Shout out to Jenna. God, I haven't talked to you in months. And tonight was just fun playing Cold War together. You were really good at COD, by the way. Um, shout out to Danny. It's excellent to, to just play games again. And shout out to Snoot who literally door dashed a cup of coffee earlier tonight um, and like ended up paying like seven or eight dollars because he just didn't feel like making it himself. I think that's amazing. Huge, huge waste of money, but amazing at the same time. And just, just shout out to everyone. Like Douglas was there, Flares, we played a little bit of Warzone together. That sucked, but you know, Cold War. Oh, Logan, uh, we played some Apex. So it, it's fun. Like I'm, I'm branching out my social circle, if you will. And it's legit a good time. That's what gaming's all about, having fun with friends and just exploring new avenues, if you will. I don't know. It's just fun. That's, that's, that's my point. Anyway, guys, really, really good time tonight. Thank you, as always, for your continued support. And I noticed my viewer count was up tonight. I ended at, like, 41 viewers, which is good for this late or this early, depending on how, how you look at it. I'm waiting for Twitch's official email to come in. Of course, it's not going to come in when I'm vlogging, but that's okay. All right. I'm gonna import you guys to my iMac and I'll see you later today. Happy Sunday, everybody.
I'm at the parental's house. They put the tree up. It's spinning. It makes me think of Nana and Pop Pop from years ago. They had this classic spinning tree. Love it. A little hole right here. Uh, it's triggering me. Oh God, I'll, I'll, I'll let them handle it. It's a little wobbly. There's Mr. Claus himself. Fun fact, I didn't paint that. Very nice, very nice. Hey, Fire. Hi. Fireball. Hi, Mom. Hi. What? I told him potatoes were hot and he didn't believe me. So he bites into them? Yep. I have to. The fan on? Yeah. He thinks I'd do it to let Bob know I'm cooking. Screw Bob. Stop. It's getting, I love Bob. Me too. He's funny. Plus, I respect him because he's literally in Vietnam. Yep. That's crazy. Ton of, ton of respect for that. Oh, baby, baby. Thank you, Mom. I've had nothing to eat today. Nothing. Talking? I woke Can up it. around 4 o'clock. Okay, let me try to get... I know you like them smooth. Don't touch the burner. It's going to be hot. Imagine not focusing in 2020. There you go. You like your cheese on top. Yeah, buddy. Here, Autumn. You want some candy? Take it. All right. I think this is my next review product, the Mirror Case something headphones. E1 maybe? Not bad considering they're only like 30 or 40 dollars. So we'll see how they perform. Stay tuned. And I think Mom and I are gonna rotters later. Yeah, buddy. Dude, I love cheesy potatoes. Ooh. So good. Are you hyped for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I got a turkey. So is that it? Do we have everything? No. Uh, I got turkey, cranberries, and the bread crumbs for my stuffing. Corn? Not yet. I gotta get all the fresh stuff. Green beans? I didn't get any of that stuff yet. Gravy? Nope. Well, you that. make your own gravy. Yeah, I gotta get the ingredients for it. Hot! Mother effer. It looks okay. hot. What would you like? You want to put the pieces? In? Oh, no, let me see if this is still hot. Oh, oh shoot! Never mind, there's two more pieces. Mmm, chuck them in, baby. Oh, dumb. I'll have to dad's lunch tomorrow. Chicken! Which ones do you want? All of them. Take the ones you want, throw them on a plate, they're hot. And don't forget, you get lunch for tomorrow. I know, I just watched it the other night. Dang, you're going big, and there's sauces in there. Bro. Oh, baby. Brought to you by Chick fil A, probably. Yep. Sounds this week, maybe? Yeah. All right, I want buffalo. I mean, barbecue and buffalo. Can yeah. I have, is there like a. Is it, there's a ranch for you? No, not for this. That's a fries. Dude, Chick fil A like sauce a, is amazing. I'll take barbecue. Oh, barbecue Chick -fil -A. is amazing, too. Oh, sorry. Let me put this back for you. Let there you go. It's the one that I saw. Seriously, Mom, thank you for everything. You're welcome. You're the best. You got your food? I think so. And I got my water. Gotta stay hydrated. Excellent dinner, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Not that you're the snowman. <laughs> Dad, <Dad's a> man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second take, because Dad's being bad. Show my favorite part. The Very other. nice tray. Just the back of her head. Ooh. Yeah, but we don't need to hear them in the back, and that's Walk what I'm saying. Walk in front of the Santa legs. It's motion activated. <laughs> Very nice. Santa's stuck in the tree. And there's no rest of the body. <laughs> Clever hiding, by the way, with that. Thank you. Very smart. I did that on purpose. It's like a camel toe. <laughs> yeah. And look at the elf. Thank the you. elf is stuck in here, too. There's, a, there's two other elves stuck in there, too. Good job, honey. It's his feet. There's one right here. And there's another one. There's another one this was a, somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Oh, over there. David, isn't this one we got at Walmart? No, I think so. I got a brand new tree last year. Yeah, I'll look in a box. I and I have a tree. I'm, 
I have a train going in it, remember? Yes. I have a train going up there this year. There's a shipping label on the train. I, I picked it up there. There we go. There you go. What do you think? We got it there. David and I. Well, Very nice, Mom. Sure. Good job. David, the year we couldn't find that one tree, was it this tree or your tree? I don't know. Remember when we couldn't find a tree and we found it? Is your tree up here? You got yours in the mail, didn't you? Did you get yours delivered? Or did you get it in person? I got mine at Walmart. With me or by yourself? With you, I think, actually. Yeah, I think so. What is he box. doing, Mom? I'm looking at the box. What, Dad? Say it. Tell me. I said, look at his gut. You you have a bigger gut than well, I Yeah, I'm old. I've been losing weight. That's insane. I'm currently at 181. Look. I'm getting there. Very nice. And we have more decorations over her. Show the silent night. I like that touch. It's a very, very nice touch. I like that a lot. It's a T-38 tree. That's and Walmart. these are snowman arms. Oh, okay. Yeah, right here. Pretty Holiday cool. time, that's Walmart. I'm telling you, it was so reasonable. <laughs> he ruined the arm, Dad. I'm trying to say, there you go. There you go. I hit this light every time I'm here. Oh, David, you like the sign I made? Chalk it to work? Where? Oh, yeah, look at this. I made that. Nice touch, Mom. Thank you. He's stuck. Very cool. I made that. Poor Santa. Good job. And look, here's the cookie I made. You thought it was a cookie. Hey, keep walking in there. You thought it was a cookie. It looks like one of those cookie stencils, doesn't it? I don't know if there's anything else you haven't seen yet. Patreon. Welcome, Cameron. Thank you so much for the $5 pledge. Enjoy the vlogs. I don't think there's anything I else you see. appreciate it. See, look at that. I'm making money even when I'm not home. Isn't it grand? Guys, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love Patreon. Game Watch changer. and see what I do with these. Okay? Remember these. Okay. I'm making something very special with these. Uh oh, they're stuck. Okay? They were plain old wood Dollar Tree. You should get the new M1 MacBook Stay Air coming tuned. out on Friday. They are blazingly fast. Wait. Seriously, the M1 chip is an SOC. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They released it? They, I didn't hear it. Friday. Yeah, big deal. It's a new Apple chip? It's an, it's a, it's an SOC chip. They, they didn't Meaning know what? Apple makes it. Yeah, but SOC? Shit out of cock. System on a chip. Uh, so uh, everything is integrated into an 8 nanometer. Well, no, 5, there was talk, five wasn't nanometer come out chip. next year. No, no, no. They said this year. We have a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Apple's and a Mac Apple. Mini. What? Apple's amazing. They are. Seriously, the new MacBook Air might outperform my brand new iMac. That's how powerful it is. <sighs> Absolutely insane. Well, it's it's not like they're sense. new to the chip industry. That's They make their own chips for their phones. Yeah, exactly. Well said. Exactly. David, and that's why the me. iPad Pro and the iPad Air David, perform so well. Me. So imagine that performance on the Mac. Very nice. I made these... Um, stockings, aren't they cute? Look, these were just plain wood. What are you doing? Yeah, that's better. No, it's not. Is it? Let's get it now. You sound so sad. I'm sorry. Hey, I car like these. Like a big yeah, my car still smells like an onion pizza. I need an air freshener in it. You smelled like an onion pizza yesterday in my house. I just, I just never said anything. For my car. Of her car. You literally smell like onion From pizza. Her car. From my car. Unless we got the scent on us from Strasburg Pizza. Oh, so update my patrons because I was I was paranoid. That mark in my garage is not a big deal. Somebody put the foot through the friggin' ceiling up in yeah, the attic. Yeah, and it wasn't me. It may have may have been the Xfinity guy a year ago. It may have been the previous owners. It wasn't no. It wasn't like that we bought the house. Yeah, I don't know. We would have noticed. But that. either way, it's not a big deal. And the home inspection would have picked it up. Yeah. So it's not a big deal, you think? No, you, 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 got, you slice it out, you put a new piece in, you're good to go. That's really annoying. What, are you filing your nails? I'm <laughs> sanding my stocking. Will you guys take the trash cans out to yes. make dinner? Thank Lazy. You. you didn't make dinner. You did. <laughs> Rudders? Yes. My treat. Yes. I don't want coffee. Yes, you do. No, no I don't. We're going to get back and then you're going to say we no, I have I one coffee. No, I definitely don't want coffee. I have a soda. Plus he peed all night because he had a 20-ounce yeah, 20 20 soda. Yeah. I was up oh, three times. Coffee. I was up four times. Look up, look oh, up the box. He looks so little. It's following his eye. You see it? Uh. <laughs> look at that. That's actually really impressive. 
There, there it goes. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I'm going to bed early tonight. Bye, I can't hang. Oh, let's See go. See you tomorrow. Get coffee and tea and go to bed. The locals think I'm crazy for reopening this camp. To create a sanctuary of fresh air and exercise. American Horror Story, season nine. Totally 80s based, so cool. So rad, totally tubular, man. What's up, Tim? Wow, this is classy AF. Thanks. Nice touch. Thank you. You're welcome. It's still working. Timber likes it. Hey! Good boy. Okay. Okay, not on my table, please. <laughs> Why just, are you doing that? He attacks me out of nowhere. You know he does it, though. No, tell them. He, he's nice one minute, and then the next one just snap. Yeah, he's like, uh. Oh. That's what Timber does. <laughs> Watch, I'll pet him. Hey, chill. Let me pet you, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I'm done. We're done. <laughs> Hi, Shane. Hey, no, it's so dark. Okay, I'm ready. Rudders, let's go, baby. Let's get our coffee on. I want to put something in the sleigh, but I don't know what. Why are my face? Oh, I hate sleeping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that scared me. Uh, do you know the person's name? Oh, I should. Woman or a man? It was a woman. Okay. Is she? Nancy. <sighs> No, it wasn't one of the regular, your regulars. It's one of my regulars, but obviously she knows me through you. Susan. And she comments on my stuff all the time. Come on, Mom! Serious! I'm getting That's really mad. Take that, please. That's yours. I know. <laughs> Very dangerous. <sighs> anyway. anyway, somebody messaged me today and said that they enjoyed our scene in the car last week. It's just what she needed. I got I got a handful of comments saying you guys enjoyed that clip where mom farted. I forget who it was. In, her, in a very non-classy manner where she lifted her cheeks towards me. And then I come back in shirtless. Good times. Good times. Good we, times. We, we have fun together, don't we? Yes, we do. I had a, I just, I just remember this in the, <gasps> we had in us. the bathroom. I had a dream that I, I went in somewhere without a mask. I forgot. Yeah. And I was like, "Wow, this is actually really nice." <laughs> Where did I? Oh, I walked to the bathroom from my seat at um, the diner yesterday. Went to Bridgeport Do Family Restaurant. Squirt me, baby. And I went to the bathroom totally Thank forgot you. to put my mask on. I felt built guilty. What? I was like, "Oh no! I just walked across the diner without my mask on." What is going on? Did you think I was gonna diner? go over there? Blooded. Check it and see. I got a fever. I was gonna say, I don't know the words. Unfortunately, I'm I'm like that with a lot of songs. I only know like the chorus and whatever. Ow, you effer. <laughs> Except for Christmas songs. Like I know a lot of Christmas songs. Uh -huh. Like as soon as they come on. It amazes me when I hear a song from like a long time ago that I haven't heard in years and I can belt out every single word in the Why car. are you talking with a southern accent? What did I hear? Yo. Some song really picked me up here. I was going to work Friday morning. Oh, it never gets old. Um, still the one. Love when that comes on. You're still the one that can scratch my itch. Or the song that they did at the Jersey Boys play we saw recently. Um, from the Four Seasons, I think. It's a, like a doo-wop song. Doo-wop! I forget what song it was now, but... Doo-wop! I was literally jamming to it. And that music makes you feel good. Doo-wop! <laughs> doo-wop! <laughs> I'm so annoying, aren't I? Uh, ish. This is why I'm single. No. I'm literally gonna die alone. No, you're not. Do you try? I don't try. Do you go out and try to meet people? Do you go on a website? Do you go to a dating service? Actually, I am on something. Then do it! I know. I need to get out there. Don't bring them back to your house in case they're crazy. Take them on a date. No, I want to take them back. You got to make get to know them first. It's 2020. David, we don't hit Am I right, guys? No. <laughs> Mom doesn't know how the no. times work nowadays. I don't want to know. You people. All right, I'll see you later. You people! I love you. You people! Peace. <laughs> Peace. Let's get him going in. Uh -oh. I'm not rude.
I'll see you guys at home, and then I'm signing off. Purple. It's already 8.52. I still have to take the trash out. I don't. Oh I don't, my god, is it Sunday night? I don't have a lot of trash we to take out. We hear this every Sunday night. Why is that person running? Oh no! What? What? You forgot to get milk? I forgot to buy trash bags this weekend. You can have a couple. I have a whole box. Are I, you sure? I just got a box. I swear. Then we'll do like Target or Walmart Monday or Tuesday. I want to get a Christmas tree for a bedroom. Worst night ever. A Christmas tree for your bedroom? Yeah. Why is that a secret? Because I don't want to tell Dad. I want to surprise him. Just do it. Yeah. Do yeah. it. So I, want I to thought go you meant like it's one. a bad thing. Like no. you have too much Christmas stuff. I want to go there and get one. No, I want to surprise him. Shh, guys, don't tell him. Don't Sam. tell him, guys. Come on. Please, don't, don't be like it. that. Don't be that person. You know. There is that one idiot out there who would do that. They have <laughs> nothing else going on in their life. Stop. It's the truth. David, we had a very good message in church today. Words can be as hurtful as a knife or a rock. What? <laughs> They were doing a children's message today, and the pastor said, Would you throw a this children's rock? message? They bring up a knife? Said, would you throw this rock at anybody? I no. would. <laughs> and then he said, Would you take this pen knife and hurt somebody with it? What's a pen knife? They're like, No, I don't know. He called it a pen knife. And then he said, And then he hold up a thing that said words. And he said, Words can hurt just as much. He said, Especially today on social media. I said, Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother. So we take and the high road and don't say nothing. Double negative, which means you say everything. <laughs> nope. Take the high road and say nothing. And I'm home. Hey, Z. Oh, y'all go key. Yeah, that, that cut looks nasty on her head. On, sorry, his head. It's just mostly a scab. Zero's got issues. But he's fine. He's very healthy. Right, Z? He's very happy. Hi, oh god, boy. Also, there's a chance we're taking him to the vet this week to get him fixed. That way he calms down and his just his balls shrink, you know? Gotta shrink them balls. Brought home some chicken for leftover lunch tomorrow. I'm, I'm pretty hyped, I'm pretty hyped, guys. And my dad got me this, an apple turnover. It's so light, like it's extremely light. And it's gonna go great with this coffee. I accidentally bought a 24 ounce because they're still out of their usual cups. Or so I thought. But yeah, I grabbed the wrong cup. Definitely a good problem to have. And my mom did text me. It was Julianne who messaged my mom about the card thing last week. So Julianne, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support. Thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Started out as kind of like, eh, you know, because honestly, if you look at things from my perspective, okay, this is a great way of looking at it. I'm on camera every single day, between the weekend vlogs, pages only vlogs, streaming on Twitch. I'm like constantly in the mood to have to, not have to, but I like, I like entertaining others, but sometimes, sometimes I just want to take a break, you know? And I think sometime in 2021, I might take a week or two off from vlogging, but throughout the rest of this year, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try to stay focused Try to stay positive and all that stuff. Because I'm all about positivity. That is that is no secret. Especially in today's world. I'm extremely positive, And obviously I'm extremely grateful for everything that's going on um, in my life. Like I'm just pleased, you know. And I'm very, very lucky. Let, let's just say that. Because there's a lot of people out there struggling. So I do realize how tough people have it. And I just have to keep on uh, focusing on that. So anyway, I'm not trying to get in. I'm not trying to make anyone sad. Um, thank you. Ooh. That's a stinker. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it in the background. Uh, okay guys, I'm just real. Just keeping real with you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Your continued support means the world to me. It is Sunday, which means I gotta take my trash out. Trash day's tomorrow. And I gotta finish editing this vlog. So my night is just beginning. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, night, wherever, whatever you are in the world. And I'll see you soon. Peace.